we will assume f is a one-to-one -one function, meaning it has an inverse function, we want to determine the function values. If f of two equals five, then f inverse of five is equal to what output? The main thing to remember about these problems is a function and its inverse undo each other, which means if f of x is equal to y, and if we make the output of y the input into f inverse, the output will be x. Notice how these two functions undo each other because the original input was x, and the final output of the inverse function is also x. So if f of two equals five, two is the input into f and five is the output. If we wanted to show this mapping, if we let this be function f, the input would be two and the output would be five. And then to determine f inverse of five, notice how the output of f is becoming the input into f inverse. Therefore, f inverse will return the original value of two. Again, notice f and f inverse undo each other because the original input into f and the output of f inverse are the same. One more thing we should notice here, if f of two equals five, f contains a point with an x-coordinate of two and a y-coordinate of five, and if f inverse of five equals two, f inverse contains the point with an x-coordinate of five and a y-coordinate of two. Notice how the x and y coordinates have been switched, which is the reason why the graph of f and f inverse are symmetrical across the line y equals x. Looking at our second example, we have f inverse of negative three equals negative two. We want to determine f of negative two. So again, negative three is the input into the inverse function when the output is negative two. And notice how now we're making negative two the input into f. And since these two functions undo each other, the final output will be negative three. Again, notice how the initial input and the final output are the same. And again, this also tells us that the inverse function contains the point with an x-coordinate of negative three and a y-coordinate of negative two. And this tells us the function contains the point with an x-coordinate of negative two and a y-coordinate of negative three. Again, notice how the coordinates have been switched. Okay, I hope this helps.